Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today we have the Crayon Case Unboxing. So I know a while back, you guys, I had the crayon box palette in a palette I regret buying. And I know, I know I said that it was just that palette. I decided to give Crayon Case another shot. So the thing is, Crayon Case came out with a Mother's Day bundle. So I decided like, you know what, let me, you know, give it another shot, give the company another shot. And just to be fair about things like this was a good way to test out more than one product from the Crayon Case. You get what I mean? So I went ahead and purchased the Mother's Day bundle and I was like, okay, let's just see what it's about and i decided to get a couple of other products because i kind of want to do a full face of crayon case so i was like this is the perfect time to you know test out some more products as well as give you guys a full review i do have a box full I got my invoice right here because I want to tell you guys exactly what came in the Mother's Day bundle and the extra products that I picked up. So to go through the things that I purchased outside of the Mother's Day bundle, I have to honestly look at my invoice to see what didn't come in that full-time mommy kit. The highlighter powder in Angola. It's going to be the highlighter powder in Angol Angola. Why are we not focusing? There we go. No, focus on this. And I did pick this up. I thought it was going to be way bigger than what it actually was, but I did pick it up because my twin here on YouTube has always used this highlighter and I thought like I always kind of wanted this highlighter I don't know if this is the exact one she used but I always wanted to try one of their loose highlighters so I was like you know what this is the perfect time and this highlighter was actually $15 and she's pretty cute oh I did get the Judy brush because I always see not only youtubers use it but Instagrammers and Facebook Facebook uh, makeup artists use the It's Judy brush so I had to get that and of course you guys know I'm, I'm like all about the rainbow ish kind of thing so I love rainbow anything so to get this brush I was like hell yeah I wanted it can't wait to use it she's really light and she's very skinny and then she builds big I like it she's very soft but you guys look uh, that's my favorite part about this brush is that it has that rainbow shade in it and this one was 12 bucks so yeah okay and then I got the chalk the setting powder which I got in the shade in now I didn't know exactly which shade to go for because it's kind of hard to pick your actual shade on the website. So I decided to go with N. Packaging is super freaking cute. And this is the Chalk Dust Setting Powder. And this one was more of the yellow tone. So I decided to try that one. I decided to try that one out and I love the packaging of it. Woo, that is super freaking cute. And I could never take away from the crayon case and the way they the way that Super Sand decided to brand herself like school supplies and school themes. So I really like that. And she seems to be the right shade, but I won't know that until I actually put it on. But I feel like she's gonna be good. But she's hard to freaking open. Five hours later. She has a lock on it. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
I think she may work out really cute for me. It does say crayon case on it, but I kind of feel like she's been messed with a little bit or maybe they feel it themselves because a little bit of dust and powder came out if you could tell like it's been open before or they feel it themselves i'm not quite for sure but that kind of worries me and then i got the highlighter the concealer highlighter which is in number 15 and once again the same aspect and the same problem. I was scared to choose one because you can't really tell your shade online. So I got the shade 15 and I can honestly say I think this may work for me. So here's what that looks like. Really freaking cute. Like I said, I love the fact that we play off of the, the school age, the school time products and then that was the three products no yes that was the four products i got outside of the mother's day kit and the concealer was five dollars the chalk dust was 20 the brush was 12 and the highlighter was 15. now the rest of the items that is in this box retailed for oops retailed for 109 dollars and this is the full-time mommy kit so everything that's in here is what came in that bundle. And I can't lie, it was a lot of stuff for just $109. Sneak peek, some things is coming up, some things is changing around here. Okay, y'all be on the lookout. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Turn your notification to all videos so that you won't miss what I'm talking about because I'm not gonna talk about it here. Everything that's in this box, I don't have individual prices like I did on the other items I had, but this all came up to a bundle of $109. I'm pretty sure it retails for more individually, but she put this bundle together for mommies and I felt like I needed it because I am a mommy. So the first thing that's in here is the Crayon Case Honor Roll Highlighter. And I love the fact that it says this crayon cutie from the Slay Activity uh, Academic. I love that it says this crayon cutie from the Slay Academy pressed highlighter powder. It is super freaking cute. I love this. And this highlighter is actually as big as I thought it was going to be, but a tad bit bigger than what I imagined. Okay. So. Oh, everything is packaged so freaking well. I can't get it out. I don't want to do no swatches and stuff because I do want to give you guys that full makeup look and full review type of ordeal. So, kind of on the fence about doing swatches. But here's how the highlighter come. I am going to peel that off. And this is what it looks like. Super freaking cute and huge. This reminds me of my Black Radiance pressed powders. It's about that size, but Black Radiance is a tad bit bigger. So I don't mind big packaging or large packaging or bulky packaging. I don't mind that type of stuff. Other people seem to have problems with it, but I don't mind. So this is the highlighter. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to give y'all a swatch because I'm just dying to see myself. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this highlighter and I kind of want to put some on now because I have very, very light highlighter on today. Okay, she shows up. Okay, so I'm a little bit excited about this. Y'all don't talk about my wig or none of that. I did honestly just throw a wig on just to do this makeup look and kind of hate this wig. We did get the loose leaf makeup wipes and this is in the wide room 25 sheets. So boom. And I haven't heard anybody talk about the crayon case makeup wipes. So kind of excited to try them out. 
And then we got some sponges, which you can't go wrong with sponges. And they're actually really soft and bouncy. So kind of excited about that. Um, they kind of remind me of the original beauty blender. So hopefully they work like original beauty blender or better. Goes on white, dries clear, washable eye glue stick. And I don't really use eyeshadow, eyeshadow bases, but I will give this a try. So we did get this crayon case brush. Um, I don't know which brush this is, but it is uh, almost like a fluffy brush, maybe a powder brush, I would say. She looks like this, focus, there we go. And she has crayon case written over it. She's kind of fluffy, but also kind of, you know, dense, kind of flat. But maybe she's either a contour brush or a blush brush. I think I would use it for a blush. So I was happy to get crayon cases brushes on top of everything because I never got a chance to experience the brushes. And speaking of the brushes, not only did we get the face brush, not only did I buy a powder brush, but we did get a set of eye brushes. And this is the four piece eye brush set. And this is the ink pens eye brushes. Sorry if y'all hear my son, he's in here now. Um, you get four ink pens, which you get a fluffy highlighter-ish brush. I'm assuming because I wouldn't use this. I wouldn't use this for eyeshadow. It's a little too long. And it's the number one brush. And then you get a actual eyeshadow brush, which once again is a tad bit too long, which is the number four brush. They are almost the same length. So I'm not quite for sure yet. And then we have the number two brush, which is a eyeliner pencil, an eyeliner brush. You can use it to do smoked eyeliner, shadow liner, that type of ordeal. And then here is a eyeshadow brush, concealer brush, cut crease brush. It's the number three brush. And she looks like this. She's very flat, almost a little rounded, but at the same time, a little straight. So, I don't know. I can't wait to put these to test. Like, test these bad boys out. All right, so we did get the Sharpie, which, well, it's called Sharp Me. And it is the black eyeliner pencil. And I want to say this is probably a felt tip. Yeah, it says fine point tip eyeliner so it is a felt tip it's 24 months and it's cruelty free which is cute it lasts longer than most eyeliners that i've seen okay so we got three different palettes in this mommy complete kit this full-time mommy complete kit the first one is the new rule eyeshadow palette and this is the 12 nudes palette i think this is super cute love the design yet again but i can say when i looked at this i was like mm, i thought it was gonna be something better but it's really not it's just the ruler eyeshadows and i like the names but the actual shadows I think I'm going to put this in my makeup artist kits because I'm just not all of that of a neutrals girl. And this all looks, you know, like plain-ish to me. But somebody may love it. Somebody may love it. And I don't typically like these skinny rectangle-ish looks. Look of eyeshadow pans. Like, I don't, I don't really like it. But here's one color. I think this one is this centimeter. Here's what she looks like. What? Kilometer. And it's a matte shade. Okay, it's 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 there. It it works. Um, let me find. 
So the next thing is gonna be the Watch Me Blush Palette. And you guys, I can honestly say, very cute packaging. It's not school themed or anything, so it stood out to me. But I can say that I really thought this was a blush palette. And it's not. I mean, I probably could use some shades for blush, but it's not a blush palette. It's an actual eyeshadow palette. And it kind of threw me off a little bit. But it does come with a big size mirror. And then here is what the colors look like. Which is pretty freaking bomb. I can't lie. I can use these two as eyeshadows and highlighters. My bad. And then hot cocoa, berries, cranberry, and tangerine. I could probably use as a blush. You know what I'm saying? But these are actual eyeshadows. I do like the fact that they're really freaking huge. I like that. And it, it like screamed my name. Cranberry. Ooh. Okay. Okay, cranberry is very pigmented. Oh, and she's not patchy, thank goodness. And the top row, cobbler, tangerine, cranberry, berries, hot cocoa, all these are matte shades, and all of the bottom is shimmers. So you got outsider, strawberry cream, old banana, cappuccino, sweet tea. So I do like that it is, you know, a mixture damn i like that oh oh banana okay oh my bad y'all yeah. i like that i like that i like that tangerine seems to be real pretty oh man tangerine is not as popping as cranberry but she shows up i think you could probably build her up she's showing up a little darker than what she actually is right here. She's showing up on camera darker, but she's actually brighter. And then the last palette that we got, which I was excited for, let me wipe out these swatches. This is the perfect time to test out the loose leaf makeup wipes. All right, I give that a thumbs up so far, is the matte book. And y'all, let me tell y'all how dumb of a moment I had. I was pulling everything out when it first came in to make sure, you know, nothing wasn't broke or and I had everything that came in order. And my wife was sitting there looking at everything and she was like, oh, I like that one. I like this one, meaning this one. And I was like, what is the matte book got to do with numbers? Yeah, don't ask, okay? I, it, as soon as I said it, I just like was like, you're so dumb. Like... <laughs> But anyways, got the matte book, and I do like the fact that all of the shades are matte. I want to kind of do like a comparison, not on camera or anything, but a comparison to myself because a lot of the matte colors are reminding me of the crayon box colors. And can somebody tell me if these are contour shades, contour or bronzer shades? and or transitions because that's what i would use them for transitions and contour so the contour shades that i said to red tad bit to red but it was a good idea maybe this one Ooh, too cool too freaking cool yes and i don't like that okay so bump what i said about contouring so let's try a purple. Y'all, me just swatching it is messing up the palette. What about this yellow? Y'all know I had a problem with that yellow in the crayon box. So let's see if this one's better. And it actually is better. Wow. So let's try my other color, which is the green. Y'all know I love me some green. Yes. Look at that green but that is the three palettes you guys so the first one is graveyard and i think these are all liquid lipsticks if i'm not mistaken Ooh, cute packaging very freaking cute come on focus there we go and i said wine color but she's a little deeper than wine she's more of the purple that i love Okay. Mm. 
Okay, she got a vanilla scent. So here's what Graveyard looks like. And it is a purpley wine color, which is something that I would wear like with Night Moth or something like that. Night Moth liquid, uh, lip liner. Night Moth lip liner. Y'all know I love my vampy lips. So um, the next one is the Hall Pass collection. Let me see if... Okay, no, this so this must be the regular line liquid lipstick, and this one here is the Hall Pass collection. Student is Crayon Cutie, Homeroom is Slay Academy, Teacher is Crayon Case, like that. And this one is a lip gloss, and it's in Private Party. So I like the way she did that. That is really freaking cute. And then Private Party is on this side. And all of her stuff is cruelty free, which I'm noticing. And that's pretty good for, you know, everybody and a lot of people. Ooh, pretty. This lip gloss is pretty. Almost matches my nails. So here is Private Party as the lip gloss. Very pretty. But as you can tell, this graveyard now that it's drying down, she's kind of looking patchy. But once again, we're not going to judge. I'm not going to judge at all until we get her on the lips. Ooh, and then we got Hell City. Looks like that. Hell City. So this is a part of the regular collection. Okay, so I get it. Two lip glosses, two liquid lipsticks. Got it. And here is what Hell City looks like, which... I believe it's going to be one of my favorites because it's a peachy nude. Oh, did I touch it? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Peachy nude. Oh, oh yeah. This is cute for mommies. I think it's a cute idea. And then we got the last Hall Pass Collection lip gloss, which this one is in... Clean Kisses. Clean Kisses. Which it is a nude. Sorry. It is a nude. So I kind of think this is going to be another favorite. Y'all know I love to just pop on a new lip gloss and go by my day. Oh, yes. Yes. And then it's a light nude. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. Yes. And I like that they're thick and almost mm. sticky. Like I like them. Um, mm -hmm. Nude is right there on the bottom. So there you have it, you guys. That is everything that I got from Crayon Case for Mother's Day in the Mother's Day sale. It was $109. It is the full-time mommy kit. You guys, let me know what should I try first and bring to camera or should I just play in all of it in one video? I mean, I can't play with all of the eyeshadow palettes unless I pick a couple of shades from each palette. Y'all let me know down below in the comments. Oh, and let me know if y'all picked up these this bundle not these products this bundle let me know if you caught this sale and picked up the mommy full-time kit so i love you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below and in the words of my loyal subscriber y'all keep shining and i will catch y'all in the next one deuces